What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. You know what day it is. Today is Tuesday, which can only mean one thing on my channel, Target Tuesday. So excited about today's video. Black Friday just passed, Cyber Monday is here. It's just like a week of sales. I feel like there's lots of sales between now and Christmas. But before I get into the tip I wanna give you before we start shopping, I just wanna say hello, my name is Katie. If you are new here, I'm from Orlando, Florida. Well, actually I'm from Boston, but I live in Orlando, Florida, but you get the point. I make shop with me videos, home decor videos, decorate with me, cleaning motivation, all sorts of stuff like that around like shopping, lifestyle, cleaning, and home decor. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So I did give this tip on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely make sure you check out my Instagram at Katie Vining. Instagram is like the fastest way for me to get info out to you guys. So if I have a tip, I just do it in real time. Whereas the videos I post Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So you might have to wait a few days and the tip may not be as helpful. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you want like real time tips and just kind of to see like what goes on more in my everyday life. But the tip I have is with all the sales going on right now, it was Black Friday, Cyber Monday, small shop, this, that, the other thing. Prices are constantly changing on items. Items. So today for instance, I checked our bed which I ended up buying off Target It's not a Target brand bed um, But basically there's like several furniture manufacturers and then they sell their stuff on a bunch of different websites Using all different names So basically what I do is I'll reverse image search a picture of what I'm looking for And then I find it on all the different websites and I do a drop list on honey I did talk about honey in my Black Friday haul video. I'm not sponsored by them. I just love it It's just like a little like add-on for Google Chrome just add it on to your browser and you can start a drop list and it'll just let you know when the price goes down and you can tell it if you want an alert if it goes down by 5% 10% or however much but anyway so that's how I track the prices and that's how I find the items on several different websites but the bed I wanted went down it was 45% off for Black Friday I'm like this is amazing I bought it it's the cheapest I've seen it on any website even still but I decided to check it again this morning I was checking my order and I saw that it went down even 50 more dollars so I easily was able to have it price matched I just called um, Target customer service Service right from the order page on the app and it took literally two minutes and I got over $50 back so I definitely recommend checking your orders checking the items that you purchased over the last like week or so see if the prices have changed see if the prices are cheaper anywhere else and get price adjustments I got a price adjustment on my camera I got a price adjustment now on our bed so I've gotten like almost $200 back like just from those two items so it's definitely worth taking the time to check out the prices of things that you've already bought to see if maybe you can get some money back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys like different clothing items, things that I think are cute around Target. We're kinda just gonna shop our way around. There are several things I'm looking to pick up for our new place. As you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos, we are moving in like five weeks, I think. So it's still a bit out, but we are getting super excited and starting to buy everything. So I love sharing that with you guys. Definitely make sure you stay tuned to the end for a haul. I actually stopped into TJ Maxx before going into Target and I got a lot of really cute basics that I'd love to show you guys at the end. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I'm not gonna keep blabbing I get a lot of comments of people saying that I talk too much before I show anything and I'm really sorry but I'm just chatty and that's just how that's just the way it is so I'm sorry if you don't like that maybe I don't know maybe I'm just not the channel for you but with that said I will stop blabbing on and let's just head inside Target and see what we find I'm definitely gonna be checking out end caps for clearance stuff too I definitely think they're just gonna be shoving lots of clearance stuff on those end caps over the next few weeks so let's go inside and see what Target has in store for us today I'm so freaking excited just got into Target and I'm at the one if you guys have watched my other videos where like they are always stocked because it's like really touristy well that's no different today. The dollar spot has some cool stuff that I haven't seen yet that I want to share with you guys. Some like tech items and cool stocking stuffers. So let's go through that first. So right here is a lot of really good like tech items. These would be great stocking stuffers. They have different like cute things where you can like charge a bunch of devices at the same time like USB ports. I'm breaking things. These are $5. Then they have like three in one cables. So if you could put that in your car and then if someone has a different type of phone, you could have that for them. These are standard like USB to lightning. So like iPhone cords, those are $9, which like I don't love to see that. These are cool. They're all the same thing, but they just have a lot of different types of packaging. So this would make a great stocking stuffer. They are pre moistened tech wipes. So they're gonna get rid of like fingerprints and like disinfect them, which is really smart, especially for this time of the year with like cold and flu season. So those are really cool. It's a pretty small pack. Someone could fit it in their purse. They do have like little AirPod cases. Those are really cute. This is super neat. If somebody doesn't have AirPods and still uses like headphones, it's charge and listen. So it's a little adapter 
you can stick in your phone. You can still charge it on one side and listen to music on the other side. Because iPhones now, you have to pick, so that's a really, really little nifty thing you could give someone in their stocking. They have it set up too where you can just like bend this off so they don't know how much you paid for it. This would make a really cute stocking stuffer for maybe like a little Gen Z person in your life, someone in high school. It is just a $5 little iPhone ring light. That's really cute. They do have a few different colors. This one says say cheese. This one says you are beautiful. So I think that's a pretty cute stocking stuffer for five bucks. I thought this was pretty interesting. It's a portable humidifier. So I think you stick it in a cup of hot water. It's $5 and it like puts out steam. So that's pretty cool if you're feeling like a little bit dry. That'd be a cool thing for somebody who like works from home. They can keep it on their desk or even in an office and that is five dollars these are always good to have these are just like emergency kits they have one that's more geared towards like women and then one more for men they all have different items in there there's an emergency tech kit they also have little like games so gentlemen's games roll the dice name your price and then this is cool this is like a little on the go shoe shine kit so all just really cool stocking stuffers or it says party favors but I think it'd be for this time of the year perfect for a stocking stuffer this is really cute too I think Brian would get like a lot of entertainment out of this it's tabletop bowling that's only five dollars as well oh what's this oh oh my god <laughs> me and Brian need this although I always lose that's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen I actually found tabletop basketball as well and then they just have like some mugs drinkware sets with straws oh that's actually pretty nifty a beard bib so it like catches everything Brian personally just like lays a towel down in the sink and then shakes it out outside, but that's a really cool gift as well. Then they do have some little like notebooks, so like a very nice glass of wine, a guided journal, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's actually fun, a guided journal, so you like try different types of wine and then like say what you think about them. That's pretty fun, Brian and I love wine, so that would be a fun little gift. They have this other one called Listography, and it gives you a prompt and then you just make a list, so it's like list the best things about you and what you wanna do with your life and that sort of thing. If you're like the type of person that just does better with like writing things out that would be a really cute gift as well and it's only five dollars so as you can see just an overview the target dollar spot is a really great place to come right now for stocking stuffers okay so that was just a brief overview of some of the stuff in the dollar spot that's new to me a lot of really awesome stocking stuffers right now so if you're looking for stuff like that I would definitely come and check it out my mom would go crazy buying that stuff for us I can literally picture us getting all of that different stuff they also have a lot of stuff for like kids little like drawing pads sticker sets that sort of thing with like really popular characters like Paw Patrol Peppa Pig all of that so if you're looking for stuff like that the dollar spot is a great place to go right now here are more cute little like stuff Stocking stuffers. Target has the setup here divided by price, so like five, ten, little like scrunchies, hair accessories, cute little like stocking stuffers, and cheap little gifts. I've done this in a few other videos, but I want to show you a Floridaism. I know that this one isn't as much of a Floridaism because I'm pretty sure that they've put these in some other targets, but I think this one specifically is really different because it's like very tourist centric items. Um, and that would be a mini like Disney store, but this one is all like matching t-shirts like that sort of thing Like things you could come and buy here and like save money from buying it in the parks because it's items that they don't have in the parks They're items that are made like specifically for Target like Disney branded items So I kind of just want to show you guys like the stuff that they sell in this section and give you an idea of like what the prices are And maybe when you come on your next trip, you can come and check it out You can find stuff that is different than in the parks Okay, so they do have more like toys, but it is a lot of like clothes and mugs and stuff So like I said, there are like matching shirts for the whole family They have hats and everything like I said, it is like Disney licensed stuff But it's just a lot cheaper than the stuff you would find in the parks Like this shirt is only $8.99 and in the parks they would charge at least 20 for this little kid's shirt Different like t-shirts and stuff. This is actually really cute It's just a high neck tank top that's women's and it says if lost, please return me to the castle which like same that is totally $12.99 and this is more of like Disney princess brand so there's a couple different like licensed sections in here but really really cute stuff they also sell like the princess dresses and dolls all different types of dolls they have more like the Barbie ones they have plushies and then like the baby doll style as well they also have like Star Wars they have golf shirts these are actually pretty cute they don't really feel like golf shirt material, but they have like Mickey playing golf, so that's really nice. They just have stuff for the whole family. You can find something for everybody for sure and save a lot of money while you do it. They also have ears and face masks. These are not the same face masks that they sell in the parks, but they're cute as well. This one's funny. I would definitely buy that for 
Brian, but they do have some cute ones. They resemble the ones that they sell in the parks, but they are different. They also have items that you will find in the parks, such as like the clips, the fan clips, and the fan water bottles. These are really popular. Here, they are only $10. In the parks, I think they run around $20, so it might be worth your while to come and check it out here. They also have a lot more designs in the parks. They don't, it's kind of limited. So if you wanna get one for each of your kids and they wanna pick out their own colors, I would come check out Target. They also sell ponchos. This whole section is stuff that's really, really great for the parks, like hats, ponchos, fans, reusable water bottles. They also have stuff that you might need for the resorts, like flip-flops, as well as towels, anything that you may have forgotten. This might be a good place to come and and check it out. I feel like this is good like if you forgot items if you want to come and grab them here it's just honestly cheaper than trying to buy them at the resorts like the towels are way cheaper the little mister fans they also have little things like keychains and just like really easy gifts that you can come here and grab for people rather than trying to buy them in the parks you could definitely save a lot of money if you make the trip over to the Target and Kissimmee which is right outside of Disney property something else I wanted to talk about was kind of like the clothing at Target I'm a huge fan they have several different brands they have like a new day wild fable universal threads and it's all like different styles so they do have something for everybody i have on even just right now target jeans and target sandals and i always wear their earrings and stuff they're just really good price but they are still great quality and they last a long time right now i'm standing in the a new day section which is probably my favorite it was definitely my favorite when I was working like as a manager at Disney because they have a lot of really cute like business casual, business professional type clothing, but it's still really comfortable and wearable. But I also love like the wild fabled jeans and the shoes as well. Okay, so for instance, like this dress, it's kind of like hard to show. The fitting rooms are still closed at Target, but this dress has like the balloon sleeves, which are really, really trendy. And it comes in a couple different patterns. This one's perfect for like winter, for Christmas. It's just super easy to wear, super comfortable, but really trendy and it's only $27. This is actually the sweatshirt I was wearing in my Black Friday haul video. I got a couple questions. This is the sweatshirt I was wearing. It's a New Day Raglan fleece pullover if you want to look it up online. It was only $20 and it's really, really comfortable. I'm honestly so tempted to buy the red one as well. And then another sweater I really want to get is this really pale yellow pullover like crew neck it's 18 dollars. it just looks super comfy it's really soft on the inside and i'm just obsessed with this pale yellow color it's not something that you often find in clothes you always find like more like mustard yellow so this is really cute as well okay so speaking of like them having like trendy items these leather skirts are amazing i'm obsessed with the green one it's so cute it's pleather um, but it just looks really nice quality. Like I said, this is the A New Day brand. It's only $24.99 and it's just seriously so cute. This would be so perfect for Christmas with like, you could even do a red blouse or a white blouse with red accessories. Just depending on like how festive you wanna be. Personally, I love to get super festive. You could do it with something like that. Just depends how crazy you wanna get. The skirt is seriously just so cute. It is a midi skirt, so it's gonna come like mid calf length, but it's just really nice. I love it so much. And speaking of my own outfit, jeans are from Target, shoes are from Target, I promise. I do own other pairs of shoes. Sweater is from Francesca's. I have it in three colors. I'm obsessed with it. My mask is also from Francesca's and my headband is a Bella band or Bella Bow from Bella No Tanko and I will leave her Instagram handle down below. It's a small shop and I'm obsessed with them. Here's another really pretty skirt. It would look so pretty with like my headband and maybe like a chunky cream scarf. That's personally how I would probably style it. It's like a red satin. It just couldn't be like more perfect for Christmas with like a really creamy white top. You could do like tight fitting or more loose like a chunky sweater and like billow it over the top. I so wish that the Target dressing rooms were open because I want to show you guys like real outfits and it's really hard. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea, I grabbed this A New Day sweater for $20. It's just a cream sweater. And just with like the red skirt, it is hard to see. I know, I'm sorry. I wish I could try it on for you guys. You could like kind of pull this up so it like billows over. It would just be the most adorable and perfect Christmas outfit, in my opinion. Another thing I wanted to mention is that if you don't have Target Circle, you definitely need to go ahead and download it because on Target Circle, they always have deals going that are like 20% off women's clothing and 30% off shoes, but you have to have the Circle app to be able to get the deal. 
I would definitely recommend it. Circle is amazing. You get like rewards, you get cash back. And it also keeps track of like all your purchases. So if you lose a receipt, you can use the circle to return something. It's just a really great app and I love it. I recommend it. But yeah, that's another tip I have for you guys. Definitely download that app. That way you can get more sales that you didn't even know were happening in the store because they're not advertised, they're only on circle. If you want to be super festive and a little bit more casual, that's another like cute way to style it. It's just like an emerald green, like tight ribbed shirt with the perfect red skirt. So that could be another way you could style this personally i would keep this with like a black shirt or cream or sweater but if you want to be super festive i could definitely see like a teacher wearing this like a really cute fashionable teacher that's my other recommendation i did want to run over here and show you these are actually the jeans i have on they are the wild fable brand at target and they are called the high rise mom jean they are a very popular style at target i definitely recommend picking them up they are the comfiest jeans they're like a little bit stretchy and they do stretch out during the day as you wear them but i highly recommend these jeans i must have come on the right day because it looks like they got all new joy lab pieces and put all of the old ones on clearance 50 to 70 percent off all these sports bras are only ten dollars and they have so many also a lot of like throw on over your workout outfits after your sweaty type deal so many things leggings they have different like sets i definitely came on the right day these sports bras are a little bit more this one is 13.99 also like joy lab sweatpants on sale for 16 dollars t-shirts leggings the joy lab leggings were 34.99 and are now 17 dollars Looks like they still have a lot of the like Black Friday stuff set up. They do have the Magnolia crock pot. This is the first time I've ever seen it in the store. It's like the hearth and hand one. Originally, I really wanted it, but honestly, it's just like a cream colored crock pot. There's nothing really that special about it. Plus, it's $40. Like, I don't know. Personally, I'll just keep my $10 one. Okay, I waited and I'm glad I did because this hearth and hand wreath is now on clearance for $10.50. They have the green one and the red one. I'm not sure which one I like better. I think I'm leaning towards the green one, but I'm just super excited. They do have a few other clearance items. They have some unscented candles for $10, this fireside candle for $7.50, the counter spray for $2.99 as well as the dish soap. So just some random clearance thrown in here as well. One thing I was really excited and surprised to see were they still had these benches. I showed these a couple videos ago. They are, let me see if I can pull one out for you. It is that like hearth and hand dining bench. Now it is $94, so definitely a really good deal. And they also have a bar stool. These three must be returns, but they are a great price. Over in the kitchen section down, there's so many like random little things we need, like a dry rack I didn't really consider one like this before but this would just go perfectly with all of our stuff so considering it now we also decided to go with black silverware or flatware or whatever it's called um, so I'm gonna get that here at Target we've looked at so many and honestly like different silverware sets like so many people just have so much to say about it so I just feel like with Target like it's super easy to return if we decide that we don't like it or if something goes wrong with it so we're gonna pick that up here I need to look at all the ones they have and then we can decide together well really I'm gonna decide and you're just gonna watch me decide because <laughs> by the time you see this I will have already bought it so you get the point I really like this like brushed gold one they do have shiny gold as well but I like the look of the brushed one better and then they also have the black oh my gosh now I don't know now I have to ask Brian because I like them both maybe like a mix would that be dumb I don't know okay so it's weird because they have a 20 piece set of gold but they don't sell 20 piece sets of the black I even looked on their app and they only sell it in five piece sets the 20 piece set of gold is 35 whereas five pieces of black is still $20 which I don't know that just doesn't make any sense to me like I'd rather just get gold I also found a cute little gold cheese knife set which makes me want to get the gold ones even more they have a lot of really cute like wooden serving type things this one is really really cute would be so perfect for like like different like salsas guacamole queso like all in there that's I always have football Sunday on my mind a lot of really cute like cheese trays like a live wood one a smaller one just so many different ones this one actually has like gold handles so that's really pretty perfect little charcuterie or little board for a bunch of fun snacks okay here is something that would make a great gift a heated throw 
My mom is obsessed with heated blankets. I know that if you live in a cold place, they are just so nice to have. Heated blankets, this is a great gift. Also another great gift would be a weighted blanket. Those are really popular as well. The Wonder Shop is nice and stocked. They are doing a circle offer right now where if you spend $50 in trees, lights, wrap, or decor, you get $10 off. But you have to have the Circle app to take advantage of that offer. For a bunch of stuff they are doing, a spend $40, get a $10 gift card. So like all this like parchment paper, aluminum foil, but also like trash bags. So this is a great deal for me to take advantage of. Also like tissues, storage containers, all these bags, like all stuff that we're gonna end up needing. And I'm guessing cleaning supplies are gonna be included too. This is gonna seem so random and weird, but does anyone else like hate smelly trash bags? I hate scented trash bags with a passion. I just think they are so gross, like trash mixed with the smell of lavender and sweet vanilla. Blech. Oh God, things are escalating quickly. Pretty sure I got the gift card i freaking better have okay grabbed one of these mint cocoa creamers it's interesting they've already changed the packaging like since it first came out in the beginning of this season so it did confuse me a little bit but i googled it and it's the right one it's the mint cocoa if you haven't tried it oh my god it's so good okay i'm really sad one of the main reasons i came here was to look for that peppermint whipped cream that i talked about last week because the app said that this one had it and now they're saying that they don't sell it at this store. It's like I'm not meant to have this peppermint whipped cream. It said before that they sold it at this store, so I'm just really confused, but now the app says that they don't. I'm really in the mood for like cheese and crackers, but this Target doesn't really have like a good cheese selection. It is Target. My favorite for like cheese, if you're looking for fun cheese, is Trader Joe's. They have some really fun cheeses, and they're a good price. Fresh Market has a lot of fun cheeses too, but they're more expensive. And Publix has a pretty good cheese selection as well, but Target is just lacking. Like they just have like cheddar and sharp cheddar and like pepper jack is like the craziest one they have. So not gonna get it here, but I'm really in the mood for like a nice charcuterie board. One thing that's cool about Target is they do have a lot of stuff that is plant-based. They have everything that is plant-based labeled behind doors that say they are plant-based. And Target has always had like a lot of really cool options. They sell brands that I hadn't heard of before. They also have like a really big selection of like Morningstar, Amy's, Gardein, just a lot of super fun stuff. I was vegetarian for five years and like lived off of this stuff. Now I eat meat, but I still do love this stuff. Like I'm trying to find these like buffalo cauliflower wings. They're so good and I'm in the mood for something a little bit spicy today. Okay, so I just found these and I thought this was really cool. It's Dyson air fried chicken nuggets, chicken fillets, and chicken tenders. 75% less fat, so they don't cook them in oil, they cook them in the air fryer. I'm gonna get a bag and we're gonna cook some in the air fryer and put some buffalo sauce on them. And I'll let you guys know on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on Instagram how they are. But, oh my gosh, I'm really excited about these. These look so yummy. Yeah, things are just like getting out of control here, so I'm gonna go check out. Okay, I got distracted and I found these. I've been really wanting to try these and they're on sale for $30, so save 20 bucks. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I've been wanting to try this so bad. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hands and let's leave now. Okay, I just got home from Target and I wanted to quickly show you everything that I got. And when I say quickly, I mean quickly because my batteries are all dying. So first I'm gonna show you the food items because I need to go ahead and get those in the fridge. But these are just staples that we love. Um, some special things, but really staples that we love. And I just thought that you guys might want to see them. So like I showed you, I grabbed the mint cocoa coffee creamer. This stuff is so good. I can't recommend it enough. That's like my second bottle, I think. It's so good. The next thing, I've actually showed this in a video before. It is the Target brand taco dip. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's like a little bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy, I wouldn't recommend, but it's basically like a sour cream based dip, and it is super, super tasty. Perfect for like football Sundays and stuff like that. I love this, and so does Brian, so I definitely recommend it. It's the Good and Gather. It's like a Target brand. You can only get it at Target, and it's really, really good. I also picked up four Chobani yogurts, the Greek yogurts with the fruit on the bottom. They're so good. They're really healthy. Great for breakfast. We like to do little parfaits with like granola, and then we add like blueberries, raspberries, stuff like that. 
These are really good. I used to hate Greek yogurt. I literally wouldn't even want someone to open a yogurt like in my presence and now I love them. So it is possible for you to grow and evolve. <sighs> okay, so basically I'm trash for frozen pizza. I picked up an Amy's Organic frozen pizza, the margarita one. This one is, it's really good. I love all frozen pizza pretty much. I'm not gonna say no. I do like thin crust pizza um, and I like to cook my pizza well done. So that's just my personal preference, but that one's really good. Um, I just love frozen pizza. The California Pizza Kitchen ones are really good too, but I wanted to switch it up this time. To go with the taco dip, I grabbed a bag of tortilla chips, the EXO, Oh, so chill. That's how you say it. It says it underneath. These are really good. They're super thin and crispy. I like those ones a lot. And I am really picky about tortilla chips, and I really like those ones. Like I showed you, I decided to grab the air fried chicken breast strips. We're definitely going to have these for dinner. So like I said, check out my Instagram. Um, let me know if you guys missed my story about what I thought about them. But I'll definitely let you guys know over on Instagram because it's just way easier. I think they'll be really good. Anything in the air fryer is good. I did get a couple questions of people saying like, oh, I'm new to the air fryer world. What do you cook in it? Literally anything. We cook everything in there. We cook like vegetables. You can do like little... Um, like pop tart pastries, homemade pizza, so many things. There's so many cool YouTube videos of like of cute little air fryer recipes. I just can't recommend it enough. It is like my favorite kitchen tool ever. I don't really think you care to see this, but a pack of chicken. Then I picked up a thing of shampoo and conditioner. Yes, I use cheap shampoo and conditioner. This is the Grow Strong Garnier Fructis. It smells like apples, smells amazing. And then this is the Miracle Moist Conditioner with avocado and jojoba oil. I absolutely love this. Brian hated the smell of it when we first started dating, and now we're on him. So maybe try it out. Let me know what you think. All right, next I grabbed a bag of the Arby's Season Curly Fries. They speak for themselves. They're delicious in the air fryer. Just like I said, air fryer is the best. Then I grabbed a bag of romaine lettuce. That's not very exciting. And a bag of Boom Chicka Pop. Brian loves this stuff, the sweet and salty kettle corn. It's not really my favorite, but like I'll eat it if it's there. Essentials, Hidden Valley Ranch. Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I got the buffalo one. Normally Brian just tells me to get the original, but he wasn't there to tell me no. So I grabbed the buffalo like wing one this time. So we'll see if it's any different. I don't know. Okay, next is like all the household supplies I bought like for our new place. I don't know why I felt the need to buy this stuff now, but I'm just gonna go through it pretty quick. First I grabbed a Scrub Mommy. The Scrub Mommies and Scrub Daddy sponges are actually really nice and they have a pretty funny name. I got some aluminum foil, classic. We put that on any pan before we use it. That way we don't have to wash the pan most of the time. Gallon size Ziploc bags and they have to be the ones with the sliders because I'm bougie like that. Then I also got the quart size ones. I also decided to just go ahead and pick up some Cascade Platinum like pods for the dishwasher because I just feel like when we move in we're just going to want to like start running the dishwasher with like all of our stuff just to completely clean it and make sure it is good to go for our new place. So I just decided to go ahead and pick those up. Brian's literally going to kill me when he sees all this stuff. I picked up a thing of Dawn Platinum. I don't know why I felt the need to buy all this right now. I grabbed a thing of trash bags. Just a good thing to have when you move into a new place or just in general. They didn't have the scentless ones, so I had to get the ones with the scent, even though I can't stand the ones with the scent. A thing of dryer sheets. I grabbed Tide Pods, which normally, honestly, I like the liquid, but Brian likes the pods, so I just decided to grab those because they're easier. And then I just decided to pick up some disinfecting wipes for granite and stone. I haven't tried them before, but we have it in the new place as well, so thought I'd just grab them. The last like the last cleaning item I got was just a thing of splashless bleach. Like I said in the store, Target was doing a deal where if we spent 40 on like household items, you got a $10 gift card. And I think it's safe to say that I definitely hit the minimum. I got that bamboo drying rack. I like that a lot. It goes with a lot of the other stuff we have. I got the expandable um, like silverware holder. This is cool. You can expand it to fit like whatever size drawer you need and it also goes perfectly with all of our stuff. For the silverware holder, I did decide to go with the gold silverware. I really liked it and it was just a better deal than the black. The black only came in single serve sets and it would have been like $80 or like almost $100 whereas this was just $35 so just made more sense to get the gold. I also decided to pick up that little like dip little holder set. It's a little bit dangerous, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down because the bowls tend to fall out, but that's just perfect for like dips and stuff. And then I'm obsessed with chips and dips, so I decided to pick up this little like bamboo chip and dip set, and I'm really excited about that. All this stuff is just perfect for football Sunday or for a party. Whenever I'm able to have one safely, I'm ready for a party. Okay, the last two things I picked up from Target are just a spatula with a wooden base and a digital meat thermometer. This is something that we really needed and I think it's just perfect. I just decided to pick it up because I saw it and we've been needing it anyway, so 
this will be good for when we cook like pork and all of that stuff. Okay, sorry if it looks different. My camera battery died, which is gonna happen again with this one because it's only been charging for like 15 minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the stuff I got at TJ Maxx. Okay, from TJ Maxx, I decided to grab this six piece bowl set with lids. So you get six bowls with six lids. These are really handy to have, especially for like guacamole and stuff like that. Clearly, I love dips, okay? This was $12.99, a great deal. Something that's good to have, and they all fit inside each other, so it's like really like space saving. Then I decided to grab these three piece splatter screens. We make a lot of stuff that splatters because Brian loves to cook with oil. So I decided to pick these up when I saw them, and it was $7.99 for three of them. So I felt like it was a really good deal. For $6.99, I picked up this two piece peeler set. I like peelers like like this and Brian likes peelers like that so I thought it was perfect that they had one of each leave me a comment down below do you prefer like the long ones or do you like like the wider ones I like the wider ones I think they're safer these ones scare me a lot and these ones scare Brian so it's funny I think it just depends on like what ones you grew up having we had both I just think that these ones are easier to use but let me know what one you guys prefer when I saw these I had to get it because I'm obsessed with like wooden spoons so I got six wooden spoons different like styles some like with open some without some like little forky ones and these were just $3.99 so thought it was a good deal I love stuff like this they last forever the checkout aisle got the best of me and I got three little like gift card boxes those are just great they're cute you can stick them in a stuffing stick your stick them in a stuff you can just stick them in a stuffing stocking you can just stick them in a stocking they look really cute on their own you don't have to wrap them but it still like hides the gift card and it's still something that they get to open so I picked those up they were super cheap they were only $2.99 for all three of them and then the last thing I decided to pick up from TJ Maxx was this little like baking pan good for like banana bread pumpkin bread whatever we didn't have anything like this and it was only $3.99 so I went ahead and grabbed it honestly such a good deal I touched a Pyrex one that was in the clearance section at Target and I was like oh dang like I could have got a Pyrex one and the Pyrex one was still like ten dollars even on clearance so I thought it was a great deal alrighty you guys well that is gonna be it for me today I hope that you enjoyed another Target Tuesday video I love making these videos because I love Target and I actually on my Instagram asked you guys what you wanted me to highlight in Target this week so if you want to be able to give a suggestion or let me know what you want to see at Target next week definitely go ahead and make sure you follow me on Instagram like I said a lot of in the moment live stuff happens on Instagram it's just the fastest way for me to relate information to you guys so definitely make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Katie Vining if you have missed any of my recent videos for like Black Friday, what I got for Black Friday, where I shopped, what the best deals were. And if you're looking for any like decor inspiration for Christmas, I will leave some of my past videos below for you guys. So definitely go ahead and check those out. But that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will be back on Thursday with a brand new video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!